Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, I was recently asked what my favourite gallery module was. Uh, they wanted a masonry gallery. And every time I go to my Divi Supreme modules, Supreme Gallery here, it's got so many features. You can roll over things, have titles appear. You can get, you can have descriptions. We've got a nice little overlay and of course it's masonry. So when I roll down the page, it sort of just fits them in how best it is to fit them in. And of course, when you click on one, it'll pop out into a light box. And it's so easy to use. And it's also got some great features that let you filter things. So when it comes to filterable galleries, this is my go-to. Really easy to use. I'll show you how to set it all up. Let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'll delete this gallery and I'll start from scratch. Okay, you're going to need Divi Supreme Modules Pro installed and activated to use this today. For those of you that have got it, you're fine. Anybody that doesn't, you can find a link below the video if you want to check it out. Okay, well, I'm going to click to add a new module. Let's go down. All the light gray ones are the standard ones that comes with Divi, which is great. When you get Supreme Modules Pro, you get 50 new modules, as well as a bunch of extensions that do crazy things like pop-ups and add short codes to your libraries and things like that. I want the Supreme filterable gallery right here okay and it's going to open up it's going to ask us whether we want to use dynamic images yes that's what i'm going to use in a moment that'll allow us to have different categories and make it filterable if you want to just use it as a regular gallery leave that one to off add your gallery images here just drag the ones you want over just like any normal one I'm going to turn on my dynamic images, use dynamic images. And my images have categories. And if I go over to my media library over here, for anybody who doesn't know, go to control panel and then media, they'll bring up your library. Once you've got Divi Supreme installed, when you click on an image, it'll have a field for a category. And it'll tell you attachment category Divi Supreme. Now you won't see this if you've not got Divi Supreme installed. Once in there, you can give your images a certain category. And that's what's going to appear here when you open the module and you use dynamic images. So if you've got no categories there, you're going to need to go over to your media library and create some by going in there, just putting in whatever category you want. And you can make multiple categories too. One image can be in more than one category. So if, let's put this one in. I know we've got a people ca category. So let's put that in there. All we do is comma separate it. Just put a comma after one category, put in another one, and you can add more if you want to. You don't need to save anything. It automatically updates it as you're doing it. You can just close out and go on to the next one when you're ready. Now, once you've added some categories, you can go back and they'll appear here and you can start adding the categories that you want to add. And you may notice as I'm adding those, it's adding some little dynamic buttons up the top that we can filter through with. And it's popping these in, in a masonry fashion. Great, so we've added a few categories. Let's add one more perhaps. And let's roll on down. Number of columns you can set here. I quite like three, but you can set it to what you want. You can make it full width and have as many as you wanted there. I'm going to set mine back to three. Now image sizes, I usually set these for the light box effect. I like mine to be quite big. So I'm going to have mine as large 124 by 124, not cropped. So they'll pop out and do it to decent size in the light box. Column gap, that's obviously here. I'm going to tighten mine up to say one pixel with the columns and the rows. 
There we are, it's quite nice and tight like that. You can take it down to zero and have no gap if you want. Here's the default speed that it filters the images. Here you can speed it up or slow it down here. Obviously a higher value will give you more time. Lower values are going to be quicker. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Layout we're using at the moment is card. And I'll demonstrate that if I go down to elements. I've enabled the filterable gallery. You can turn that off if you don't want the them to be filterable. So I'm going to slide down a bit and you can choose to show the title. And remember we've got it on card so it's popping it down underneath. You can show the caption if it has a caption and again to put a caption in go into whatever it is you want to put a caption on. And we've got a field for a caption right here and a field for a description underneath. So put those in and they'll pop up here. I'm sure we've got some with it. That one's got a caption, obviously. Show description. We put a little description in there for that one also. And like I say, this is on the cards. So we're going to change it in a minute. So that pops over the top there. Use a light box. Yeah, I like to use that. That way when they click on it, it pops out a larger version of the image. Show title in the light box. Yeah, it'll show it just underneath. I quite like to have the title. I don't want the description or the caption. Don't need to show pagination because it's showing all the slides that I need. Now, if I pop back up to the general tab and we go back down to the bottom there, I'm going to change it to an overlay. That way, those titles only appear when we hover over. You can barely see that. We'll change it in a minute. That's a little bit better. Okay, well, let's go on down. We've done the elements. Let's look at configuration. Number of images to show. Well, I'm going to pop mine up to about 20. I'm not quite sure if I've got how many I've got in that particular gallery. And there it is with 20. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. You can show them in ascending order or descending order. It's their names. So you can always number them and do it that way. Don't need a link because I'm opening in a light box. Don't need a background or an admin label. So let's move on to our design now. We've got title, caption and description. Well, I want those to be visible over the top when we hover over. So the title. Now I'll make it semi bold, white in color. As you can see, that's happened there. Let's pop it in the middle perhaps as well. There we go. I'm going to do exactly the same. The caption. I'll pop it in the middle, have it white in color and exactly the same for the description. There we go. As you can see, everything's in the middle there. So rolling on down. Had we used the card version, you can decorate the card this way with padding, rounded corners and background colors, etc. But we're using the overlay right here. Image itself. You can put margins and padding on the images. You can give them rounded corners, add border styles if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Content wrapper, I'm not going to change that at all. The overlay color, that's fine with me. It just darkens it down so we can read that writing nicely. And our categories tabs up here, they're fine as they are for me, really. You can have them on the left or the right. They're fine in the center. Let's change it like the rest of our Divi buttons. So we'll say inactive background color. Let's make that blue. Active background color. Let's make that purple. And I think I'll have both texts white. And for a bit of fun. Let's pop a bit of box shadow on the bottom. Great. Well, I'm fairly happy with that. Let's save our changes and see what we've got here. Save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. Roll on down. There's our little filterable gallery right there. We click on something else. Well, we've only got one animal, one city. A few colors going on there. A couple of flowers. A few natures. And some people. And remember, we put the colored in the people 
and the color so it's going to appear in both of those and when we hover over we've got our title if i go back to people lady in red has got a caption and a description as well and when we click on something it'll pop open into a light box the size that i specified and that really is a nice gallery really easy to use and like i say it's got so many great features to it that's my favorite easy to use filterable portfolio for the divi theme i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget if you have any questions pop them below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day